Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. But let's crack on with today's first story. Much love, guys. Now, today's first story comes from a throwaway account. And before we do get into it, I just want to give you a warning. There is talk of miscarriage within the story. So if you do want to skip the story, please feel free to do so. Timestamps are always down in the description and along the timeline below. Thank you. And it's titled, Am I the Arsehole for Calling My Fiance Selfish for Wanting to Announce Her Pregnancy at a Cousin's Wedding? Throw away. My fiance, 29, and I, 31 male, just found out that we are pregnant. My fiance mentioned that she wanted to wait to announce it at her cousin's wedding, which will be taking place on Sunday. Her cousin and her husband has been struggling getting pregnant, even with IVF, or the tons of others. Recently, they just got some news that their insurance has stopped funding IVF, and not to mention the heartbreak of a recent miscarriage on Mother's Day. They almost understandably held off on the wedding. So when my fiance brought it up to me, I told her it's not at all a good idea. It just seems so wrong especially at being at their wedding. I asked if she was at least going to ask her cousin for permission and she said no, because she wanted it to be a surprise for everyone. I told her it's not the time nor the place for that and it would take the spotlight off the couple. In her family, there hasn't been a baby in three years, so we'd be the first in that time. Fiance feels that's the perfect time because it's such a joy and it's not like she can keep it away forever and their problems shouldn't keep her from telling something so positive. So it's on them if they turn it negative. I told her that's not the point. She knows what they've been through and she's being selfish if she actually goes through with that. She cried and claimed I wasn't being supportive and I shouldn't be calling my pregnant fiance selfish. She doesn't want me to come with her to the wedding anymore either, feeling as if I would kill the mood. She hasn't been talking to me either. Edit. So about my fiance and her cousin's relationship. My fiance always saw competition in her cousin because her cousin would be better at some things than her. Grades, dancing, cosmetics, etc. Since they were kids and she hates that. Last year they had an argument about it because fiance felt her cousin bragged too much. Whereas my fiance also mentioned there was one thing her cousin wasn't good at but never said what it was. So in shorter terms the relationship is in between good and bad but her cousin wanted to invite her to the wedding. I'm guessing to rekindle that. Then OP briefly says that there's going to be an update coming soon. So we can see from the edit, there's a bit of background going on here about how she always saw his competition, etc. So this could be her just trying to get one up on her and all that kind of thing. But even without the edit, I sit back and think, what goes through your bloody head? I'm banging my own head here. <laughs> what goes through your head? And we see it time and time again with people trying to propose, people trying to make other announcements, pregnancy, whatever that may be, at other people's wedding. And not, you know, talking to them first if they want to do it in front of family, if that's the reason. I mean, even if someone said, yeah, you can do it at my wedding, I'd still find that hugely embarrassing and trying to take away someone's spotlight on their special day, something that they put a lot of money towards. And even when mentioning the issues around them getting pregnant themselves, she's still like, nope, it's on them if they turn it negative. It's like, holy shit. And it just felt like she doesn't want you to go to the wedding with her because she thinks that you're going to ruin it for her because you're going to kill the mood. That's just unhinged behavior. And I think uh, I'd have to tell the couple what was going to happen. This is their big day. I know it would hurt to hear those words about what she was planning, but... Surely that's better than on their wedding day. Crystal Queen says to that, not the arsehole, your fiancé has a bad case of main character syndrome. Jed says, I came to say exactly this, and honestly OP, I know she's pregnant, but you really should think long and hard about marrying a woman who would do this. I'm sorry to say this, but only narcissistic people would pull this crap at someone's wedding, much less one where the bride had a recent miscarriage. There are four things you never, ever do at a wedding without express approval from bride and groom. Wear white, propose, come out, or announce a pregnancy. Your fiancé wants to take the limelight away from her cousin and that is awful. Good luck, not the arsehole, and do not let her ruin that wedding. SD starting out says not the arsehole. Hijacking someone's event to make your own announcement is extremely rude and selfish. Add on that the couple is having trouble getting pregnant themselves. It's that times 10. Cannabis aficionado says not the arsehole. 
Are you sure you want to marry this person? She seems to have zero self-awareness. And when you didn't leap to three cheers for a stupid idea, she doesn't want you there because you'll kill the mood. She definitely loves herself above everyone else, including you. Praise the grinning man says not the asshole at all. The fact she won't ask her cousin means she knows what she is doing is wrong. Honestly, at this point, do you have any contact with her cousin and family? Would it be worth reaching out to warn them or maybe do some sort of preemptive party and announcement? Personally, I'd view this as a huge red flag that your fiance can't comprehend having another occasion to announce this and wants to ruin her cousin's wedding day with this. One more comment from Trevina Ice who says not the arsehole, but please stop your girlfriend from doing this. It will destroy her cousin's wedding and she is more than selfish wanting to announce that at the wedding. This is the absolute worst and selfish thing she can do, especially knowing her cousin's background. If your fiance is not willing to let go of this idea, please tell her cousin about her plan so they are warned can uninvite her or throw her out. But they are paying a lot of money and it should be a happy day for them. Forget all the negative that happened for them in the past. And your girlfriend not only wants to steal the spotlight away from them, but hurt them by reminding them of what they don't have and might never will have. Yeah, it is a great joy for you too. That you are expecting, but you will have this joy for nine months and longer. So don't ruin the couple's big day. So, OP does update the post and they said, sorry for the long wait as I've been going through some things. Me and my fiance breaking up, work, death of my grandfather, etc. So I didn't expect to get a bunch of replies to my post, but a lot of them were helpful. My ex was determined to go to the wedding, despite my protests and even planned out how she was going to be refusing alcohol when offered. I did tell my ex's parents about what she was planning on doing. I didn't want to tell the groom or bride because I wouldn't know how to put it into words that would make the whole situation any less awful. Ex's parents did end up telling the bride's parents and they told the bride. The bride was so upset that she, unfortunately, called off the wedding. Everyone wanted her to continue it and invite my ex for a couple of plans guests thought of. Example, when my ex announced it, everyone would just say, nonchalant and, and not give her the excited reaction she was hoping for. And the classic just don't invite her plan. The bride was just understandably wanted to be left alone. And she just texted my fiance a very long paragraph telling her what a horrible person she was. She just decided not to do the wedding anymore. And her fiance was very heartbroken. But all in all, they were both grateful to me. My ex instantly knew that I was the cause of all of this and she was furious at me, even more because I posted about it here, but also said a pretty sick thing about how she was still pretty much won anyways. I just decided to break up with her myself after that. Some of her family members are kind of upset with me as they just believed I caused a bunch of drama. Now I'm currently in the works of talking to an attorney as my ex told me I will not be seeing the baby after they are born. So all that on top of grief, working, breakup, being called a mess starter by some of her family and still feeling like shit because either way the bride and groom were heartbroken. It's just putting a bunch of anxiety and stress on me. Lol. Anyway. Here is the long-awaited update. Any questions, I'll answer. Edit. So, they were pretty much already contemplating on cancelling the wedding. Family members did stress her out over her miscarriage and cancelling. Her fiancé's family were excessive about she couldn't carry a baby full term like a real woman. Not to mention her own family went around spreading her miscarriage like wildfire, which is how my ex and I found out. They told it to co-workers even. Not the first time my ex also interrupted her cousin's big events. Example, when turning 17, my ex cake smashed her, which wasn't fun for her cousin. The first pregnancy announcement, which was the miscarriage, was ruined because my ex blurted the news out. But her cousins told her to get over that because it was a miscarriage anyways. So she's told by family members. This is what I was told when asking her fiancé. So she's been at a breaking point for a while. She was considering just continuing the wedding but wanted to be left alone. They didn't call off the wedding permanently, just until the bride has cooled herself down. Now firstly, I just want to say I'm sorry about the loss of your grandfather. You obviously don't mention any information about him, but you were clearly very close to him. So I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Take time for yourself whilst you're grieving, of course. And, you know, I shouldn't be shocked when family are backing her up in this situation because we see it time and time again throughout these stories you know but family <laughs> but i always like to try to think of myself in that situation someone's telling me this story like face to face i'd be like what the fuck is she thinking 
But this family's like, nah, you're all, you're causing the drama. This is all your fault. When she's trying to announce her pregnancy at someone else's wedding, who's already going through a real difficult time themselves. And her disgusting comment about how she won anyway. It just means, you know, all this was about was about hurting that couple, hurting her cousin. And for me, I believe you did the right thing. The alternative is letting her go to the wedding and make this announcement. And with some of the family backing her up not to spread drama, they would have probably just stood there and clapped and done all this yay kind of thing and made the bride and groom feel like absolute shit. And her telling you that you're not going to be able to see the baby after they're born. I'm glad you jumped onto an attorney straight away to hopefully get things in place nice and early. I'm no expert on that kind of thing, so I'm not going to comment on it too much, but I really wish you the best going forward. But now I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this situation? How would you have handled it if it was you? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below and let's move on to another story. And I saw this next story on the Today I Messed Up subreddit. It's not really relationship based, but it absolutely had me in bits. But I just wanted to share this one with you guys. It's from 24 Quarters from the Today I Fucked Up subreddit. He says, Today I Fucked Up by not realizing our initials made our cake topper inappropriate. I will be getting married in October of 2023 to my fiance of nine years. In this nine years, I have never really put together how our initials look. Mine being C and his being M. I... <laughs> I ordered a very pretty cake topper a few weeks ago with our initials. It came in and I looked at it with excitement and hadn't shown anyone but my fiance. Today, my father stopped in for a visit and I began to show him stuff I bought for the wedding. I held the cake topper and he gave me a puzzled look and asked, what does it say? I was confused as to how it wasn't obvious and it sparked me to look at it differently. The cake topper says C heart M, except the heart is the same size as the letters. The heart is also not a traditional shape. Make it look, <laughs> making it look like it says come. <laughs> I showed this to my father in full confidence. I ordered a cake topper that just says come. Not even my fiance caught it. Fuck my life. <laughs> oh dearie me. It's always the vivid images that this story gives me about like just the proud expression on people's faces when they're showing something, you know, like OP said, full of confidence. Here's the sign. Come. <laughs> oh dear, I'm in bits. <laughs> it just reminded me of a, a sitcom that I used to watch. Some of you may know it, some of you may not. It's called Only Fools and Horses. It's still pretty big these days, I think. Although they haven't made some episodes for many, many years which follows the highs and lows of a couple of council estate guys who are trying to get big, basically. And in one episode, the main guy is daydreaming about, you know, being a millionaire and owning a big business tower, basically, with the initials of his company in big neon lights above him. And the company's called Trotter's Independent Traders. And his brother pipes up and, and, and says to him, Hold on, so why saw a picture in, we got a couple of cocktails in our hands, looking over the city, being millionaires, etc. We've got the initials of our company and big bright neon lights above us, of Trotter's independent traders. So we've got the words tit above us. <laughs> Blood Pulse shares their one on this. They said one of Sweden's biggest property owners for hospitals decided to skip sending out Christmas cards one year and instead took out an ad in the paper. The company is called Locum. And this is the result. <laughs> uh, for the podcast users, it basically says, I heart come. <laughs> Where the O is a heart instead. <laughs> and one more because these are cracking me up. Slightly cold waffles. Great username says, my wife's first initial is D. Mine is S. Our two sons are B and M. Our stockings last year displayed BDSM over the hearth. We did not think that through. <laughs> And what a fantastic family Christmas card that would have been. <laughs> but what do you guys make of this cheeky little one? As I said, it absolutely tickled me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and let's have another story. And our next story comes from Maleficent Glove 420 and says, am I the arsehole for saying no to my wife to be a bridesmaid? I am or was going to be the best man at my brother's wedding next year. My wife was invited to be a bridesmaid and she initially said yes. 
It turns out that the bride is now expecting my wife to get a whole new wardrobe for the bridal showers, bachelorette party, rehearsal, and reception dinner on top of her bridesmaid's dress. The only color she's allowed to wear to all of these events is the same lavender color as her bridesmaid's dress. She was even given a few swatches of the material to take shopping with her. The shoes and makeup have to match for photos, even pajamas have to match. The bachelorette party is a week getaway plus all of the other events. It's like an additional 10 days of clothes that my wife will never wear again. She normally wears black or dark color clothes. I bring this up to my brother after he hands me the swatches of fabric. I told him this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. He said that's why they give me almost a year to get all of the items together for the bachelorette and weddings. I'm thinking of my wife's reaction because she's already not great friends with the bride. I told my brother that my wife can attend the wedding as a guest and not a bridesmaid. My brother gets mad saying I'm upsetting his fiancée's aesthetic that she had planned. He's just asking for a few days of accommodation and I said no. He tells me I'm no longer his best man for this and I'm selfish for destroying his fiancée's dream wedding over a few dresses. Edit. I don't know why Reddit would think I didn't discuss this with my wife. I told her afterward and she laughed and saying, hard pass. Maybe when you grow up into a functional, healthy relationship, you understand that you can predict your partner's moods and boundaries. So OP says that they did discuss it with their wife, so we won't go into the details of that. But I never understand people who want, you know, to have week long getaways and all these events going on that can cost like thousands of pounds, I guess, and then get upset when people turn it down. I can remember a few years back when one of my best friends was getting married and their wedding was going to be abroad and it was a weekend getaway, a couple of days, you know, chilling out and, and talking and all this sort of stuff before the actual wedding day. And due to the like responsibilities I had, money I had as well, I just wasn't able to attend. It wasn't possible. A friend did offer to loan some money, but it was like, no, nah, I'm not comfortable with that at the moment. And, you know, so I said I couldn't attend. And friend was like, I totally understand that. It is a big ask for a wedding, etc. And was totally cool with it. And when they did return a few weeks later, we had a, a meal together and we just, and we celebrated in that way. It just feels like more and more like events like these, like gender announcements, weddings are becoming more and more extravagant. And, you know, I don't want to piss on people's dreams or anything like that, but it just seems wild in some cases. Not all the cases, of course, but... But Reg says not the arsehole. It's so incredibly selfish when brides do shit like this. It's unfair to expect everyone to spend what will ultimately be thousands to try and accommodate this type of request. Your brother is being delusional. No scientist says not the arsehole. If your wife thinks it's terrible too, I would not be a part of that. That's insane. The wedding is the only place they should be dictating a dress code. Alv says not the arsehole. What is up with people expecting others to shell out thousands of dollars to be a part of their wedding? and even pre-wedding activities. I also don't get these week-long getaways that everyone but the bride pays for. A bachelorette party used to be a one-night thing. Entitlement of some people has gotten out of hand. It's also a year in advance, so there's plenty of time for her to find someone else that can keep with her aesthetics. Response Mountain says not the asshole because you know your wife well enough to know that she is not going to enjoy being dressed up in lavender for days at a time. And basically, you aren't deciding for her, but telling your brother what her reaction would be. It sounded from the title like you were stopping her from doing something she wanted to do. Clearly, this isn't the case, but I can see why people thought that before the edit. And one more comment from Harley Mum who says, Ugh, if I read and hear about a bride's or couple's wedding aesthetic, I'm going to scream into a pillow. I get themes are a thing and wanting things to look nice the day of. The whole idea of aesthetic is just, ugh. I wonder if my red hair or shorter arms have kept me out of wedding parties because it would take away from the aesthetic. I do know that my brother-in-law got screamed at by his new wife during pictures because he was being nice and bringing me to the front and to stand near my husband for this huge group photo. She wanted people where she wanted them and that excluded me being anywhere near the front near center. It was a photo kind of from above so me being in the front wasn't necessary. I'm 4 foot 11 for context. My brother-in-law was being sweet wanting me to be at least near my husband but it didn't fit the bride's vision. We spent $5,000 on this photographer and I don't want her looking like she's part of the wedding party. My judgment would have been different if you hadn't clarified that your wife felt the same. Yeah, there was no prior discussion, but as someone who's been married for going on 11 years, I get that at some point you can predict their feelings on a subject. Sometimes you get it wrong, but you already know your wife was tepid in their feelings towards bride. Not the arsehole, and your wife is awesome with the hard pass. 
brides and couples put way too much pressure on how the day will go and can go overboard with demands. The aesthetic should be the love between people and getting married and celebrating that love. And that comment there is what I totally agree with. That's one of my favorite things about wedding family, friends coming together, some that you haven't seen for a very, very long time to celebrate a couple who's getting married, celebrating their love and just having a good time with it. But what do you guys make of this situation? Have you ever been invited to one of these weddings that has, you know, you have to, you have to spend lots of money to actually be a part of it? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for being involved and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Take care and much love.